Hi, I'm Jarm Root. I'm the author of PixInsight Auto-Integrate script. Auto-Integrate is a script that automates processing in PixInsight. In the simplest case, you just load the files to the script and press a button to process them. In this video, I'm going to first give an overview of the Auto-Integrate script, briefly mention what it does and how to get it. Then, in the later videos, I'm going to process some RGB and narrowband data using auto-integrate. The motivation for the script is to simplify image processing in PixInsight. It can be useful, for example, if you are starting with PixInsight, or if for some reason you just want an easy way to process images. Or you may want to do a quick processing to see what the data looks like. Is it good enough to start manual processing? Auto-integrate is typically used with calibrated light images, like those that you can get from remote telescope sites, or that you can calibrate with WBPP script. Script can also run a basic calibration workflow. But for any complex calibration workflow, it may be better to use WBPP script that comes with PixInsight. The script can process both LRGB data, where you have separate filters for each color, or OSC data, one-shot color data from color camera or DSLR. It can also process narrowband data. Script works so that you load calibrated files to the script, the script runs a basic workflow and produces a final color image. The basic workflow includes steps like star alignment, image stacking, channel combination and some post-processing. There are also some options to fine-tune the workflow and processing, and some options to select what tools you like to use. The end result of the script is a color image that is ready for further processing. It is good to note that you do not get an image that is ready for posting to social media or something like Astrobin, but usually you get a good enough starting point for finalizing the image. The script includes some post-processing options in the extra processing section, but often you may choose to use native PixInsight tools or something like Photoshop or Affinity to finalize the image. In my own workflow, after the basic processing, I usually remove the stars from the image and then try different extra processing options, and then save the files as 16-bit TIFF and continue in Photoshop. I always want to remind that to get absolutely best image quality, you should use manual processing. There are a great many tutorials to learn how to use manual processing in PixInsight. The image processed here in the background is run with default options. The data is from Telescope Live Remote Telescope. And the data is already calibrated. We can see that the image looks relatively nice, and it could be a good base for further processing. With the flowchart button, you can check how the image was processed. You can download the script using the PixInsight automatic update system. You can see the repository link on the screen. I will also put the link down to the comments section. You need to add that address to the list of repositories in PixInsight. You may also want to check a couple of websites for more information. I list those on the screen and put them also to the comments section. Next, I want to briefly mention interface options. Interface options can be used to change the script user interface, mainly how do you want to see the preview window, how big it is and things like that. Here you can also set your own startup image or disable it. Note that the dialog view on the video is the new default view. If you have already used auto-integrate before, your view may be different. To get the same view, you need to check more tabs, large preview and toggle side preview visible. One setting that I do recommend changing is the preview window size. The default size for the preview screen is relatively small so you may want to change it to something that is best for your own screen and workflow. Know that the preview size is specific to the screen resolution, so if you have a laptop with a small screen and an external monitor with the bigger screen, you can set different preview sizes for both screens, and the script remembers those. 
In the next video, we go into more details and start processing RGB data.